Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is going to be my fourth time trying to make this video. I do not know what's going on. Uh, the first time I tried, it got corrupted on my uh, T2i. Tried another memory card, ran out of batteries. The first five seconds I turned it on, so I said, forget it. I want to try the webcam. Um, <laughs> did a whole video. It didn't even record it. I even have a little timer up here. A little timer. Wait, wait where is it? little timer right here it tells me exactly how long my videos are it didn't record anything the timer was running but it was not been recording which was weird so I'm gonna go ahead and try a fourth time to make this video hey guys how you all doing today I finally got some ammo in that's what I've been waiting for for the, like the last week and a half I finally got hold of some American Eagle 100 round um, book pack I think that's what they call them a full value pack actually that's what it's called um, I, I had a little bit of money saved up for the last couple of months and I went on Palmetto State Armory, went on there and lo and behold, they were having a huge sale on 223 ammo. I'm talking about like more, more than 50% off the price, um, because of the price. So, I mean, the price of ammo was so stupid that everybody was like they were like i mean you couldn't get five five six two two three ammo for less than a dollar around and it was like stupid um i this thing was like 60 percent off i went ahead and i picked it up i said you know what i have not had that kind of ammo for a while so i went i went ahead and i picked it up um it was 30 something dollars and with shipping and everything it was like 41 or something like that I'm sorry. 41.49 and it was 32.99, and that's another gripe that I have is freaking UPS raised the prices of the gas. Uh, I remember they were talking about it, but I wasn't sure how bad it was going to be. And when I used to buy ammo, it used to be between three to four dollars um, every time I would order ammo for which shipping, which was excellent. It was great. I was able to order, but this is back you know like years ago when I had a little bit more money. No, I don't. But um. But then all of a sudden, the ammo just astronomically just went off the roof. Um, gases went off the roof, and everything went up. I mean, just like I said, I couldn't find ammo for less than a dollar. And I'm talking about Tula. I'm talking about wolf ammo. They were like triple the price. I mean, you couldn't find it anywhere. Some places will have them at a really good price, but then, you know, you can never get them. And uh, even brass ammo was over a dollar. I mean, some places were charging almost three or four dollars around. We all know who you are. Yes, I said it. But yeah, they were selling like a thousand dollars for like five hundred rounds. It was like you're kidding me, or or more than that, or more than that. So finally, the prices are dropping. Of course, twenty two is still a pain in the butt, but. Two to three final drop. I mean, that was, I mean, what I just picked up is literally 60% off the price. And then with shipping and everything goes back up to like 50%. But still, I mean, I right now, that's only like not even 41 cents around. And, you know, so I'm coming up ahead. I'm, you know, that's still less than half. So it was, it was a good deal. Palmetto had it. Went ahead and I picked it up. I waited like two weeks. Finally got it. I finally just came in the mail about an hour and 30 minutes ago. It's just, just like I said, I have problems recording this stupid video. And, um, but, um, uh, hopefully I get to go to the range on Friday and I'll be able to shoot. I have not shot a 223 in like two years. So I finally get to test out my, um, my 10.5. So that way I won't have to be able to, to dig in into my, uh, into my, uh, precious other ammo that I have that I'm not going to talk about. It's not legal, but it's just other ammo that I have, which is for my um, CHDF. Should hit the fan. I don't know. I might have said it wrong. But uh, but that ammo, you know, I didn't touch it. I, I stay there. And I wanted it. So that's why I switched over to 22 like four years ago, five years ago. And I was just burning through 22 like crazy. Because it was so cheap. 22 was very cheap, very easy to get. And I was like... Pfft. Good luck trying to find any 22 ammo out there. So I'm down to like 2,500 rounds of 22. So I shoot like maybe 10 rounds a month and that's it. You know, that's, that's all I shoot. Suppress, you know. 
Um, but, um, but yeah, I got that, and um, I heard it's really good, decent ammo. I heard it works, it works really well. I, I don't know about short barrel, my 10.5, that's why I'm going to test them out, because if they work really well, then what I'll do is I'm going to save money, and every couple of months I'll buy one box every couple of months, so that way I can replenish all my magazines. I have like 30 magazines that are completely empty, so that way I can just start filling them up and have them there just in case something ever happens, you know. So, um, so that's about it, guys. Um, Palmetto State Armory right now is having a really good deal on, on some of the ammos and everything, so you might want to go there and pick up some ammo. Um, and that's about it, guys. Um, just be careful out there. It's raining. It's crazy. The weather is a little crazy, so... Um, you know, enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys next time. I, I was kind of sick last night, so I don't feel like I'm talking too much. Um, but I'll keep putting videos up every time I get a chance. All right, guys. God bless. You'll enjoy the rest of your day.